Hello, we are going to review the department ID code setup for a Canon copier. There are a number of items that are required to complete this. You must know the copier model. You must have the copier IP address. You must have access to the internet. You must have a web browser installed. You must have admin access to the copier. And you should have the department ID list ready. Just to note, there's 1,000 IDs that can be entered on the copier. That is the max. So let's get started. Open a web browser. Go to the IP address or enter the IP address of the copier. For this video, I have entered our lab copier here. If this prompts you for a login, I would check with your local IT administrator or office manager for the login of the copier if it's already on or in place. Uh, this is not something your dealer necessarily would have. Usually it's something would be recorded or noted in-house. So if you have a login prompt here, go ahead and log in. Select Settings Registration. Scroll down. On the left is User Management. And as you can see here, Department ID Management. Select that. If you scroll down here, this is where you can register IDs. So select Register New. We can enter one, two, three, four. We can assign a pin, one, two, three, four as well, and one, two, three, four. Now for this area on the page limit, anything unchecked here is unlimited. So zero and unchecked is unlimited. There's no requirements, there's no limitations for this user of one, two, three, four. However, if you wanna set limits, you can set a page total. So check this and enter 100. So anything listed here, once it equals 100 total prints, this user can no longer use the copier. If you select total prints and you wanna give them a total of 50 color, and right here, 50 black and white, once these two equal that, then there's your 100 limit. Or you can turn that off, make this zero, and total color prints and total black and white prints of 50 each. So there's a number of ways you can configure this. But for this video, we're gonna leave these off. So the page limit is zero, which means basically unlimited. Select OK. As you can see, there's our user. Once you have all the codes entered, Select Edit. You want to enable Department ID Management. Select OK. And as you can see, it logged us out. So now Department ID codes are on. So if we want to log in the copier for our test purposes, the ID and PIN that we just set up, select Login, and now we're back in on the copier. So department ID codes are useful for cost accounting, deals with uh, the total quantity or functions on the copier. There's a number of things that ID codes are useful for. This concludes our video. Thank you.